Hey guys, um, so we're here to do a little programming on the heli. Um, I have to set up the Castle ESC and the fly barless system. So this video here, we're gonna do the setting up of the Castle ESC. It's fairly straightforward. Um, I have the Phoenix Edge HV160, hard to see here with the, let me get this off a second. You can see it properly there. So it's the Edge HV160. We are gonna be running this on 12S. Um, a lot of guys built these heli to do 6S, but we're gonna do this as 12S to see what we can get out of it. All right, so first thing we we're gonna to wanna to do, I disconnected everything here from my fly barless system. So that way when I power this up, it's not gonna power up any electronics or anything else. Before you start anything to, one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna get some information here about your motor. You wanna know how many poles this is running. You wanna know how many teeth your main gear is, how many teeth your pinion gear is. You're gonna need that stuff in order to do the programming here that will bring up to help set head speeds and just to help get everything all kind of set up and programmed. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we wanna hook this up to the computer. So we're gonna take this, we have the castle link here. <coughs> excuse me um, we have the castle link and we are set up here I'll bring the software up actually I tell you what I'll I'll do that right now hopefully I get in close enough here that you can see what we've got going on I'm gonna expand this and it'll show you down here in the corner if you're connected not connected but we are gonna take this you want to be careful how you set this up too they are marked for the polarity and this is my plug here, I already know I have set aside. So we're gonna plug this in. Okay, so, and what I'm gonna do here is just to run on 6S, just to uh, power the ESC up to get myself some power here. So you can see as soon as I hook power to it, we bring everything up down here. Now it says device linked, we're connected, we're all good. So now I'm gonna be able to get in here and do what we need to do. So you pretty much, you can go across the top up here. It'll tell you what you're gonna to wanna to do about throttle, brake, cutoffs, motor, other logging, you know, some of the stuff you'll need, some of the stuff you won't need to necessarily worry about. So we wanna go in here to throttle. <clears throat> and you can see in here, hopefully we can see this properly, um, we have it set to helicopter. This did come out of a Goblin 700, so some of this stuff's gonna be set pretty, pretty standard. Um, if I open this up, you can go airplane, helicopter, control line, external governor. So we are set on helicopter. Governor mode, you can pick governor fixed endpoints. In this case, we want governor mode. We are gonna go down here to a set RPM. I wanna tell it with my gear ratios exactly what head speed that I want to target. I don't know what those roughly head speeds are here. We're gonna see in a moment, depending upon what my, my gearing is gonna be. I'll have to change some of that here. So everything here in governor mode looks correct. I'm leaving everything set to defaults. That's why I ran it. It actually worked pretty good in the Goblin 700. So now we're gonna do my motor and gearing. So we're gonna go here. It's gonna ask me for my pinion gear. So my pinion gear, the teeth on that are, you would enter in here 13. On main gear, we're gonna enter in, actually let me just do it this way. We're gonna enter in 127. We go up here, KV, the motor is 500. Magnetic poles is 10. So we refer back to my notes here. And that is correct on the Scorpion 4035, which is, it's funny because I already ran a different motor in this, but it's actually the same type of setup, which is perfect. So then we would just go down to the okay. We're gonna hit that. So we should be, let's see here. 
Now I had, I had it at 17, 1850, and two looks like 2000 maybe. So I think we'll keep it there just to see how we're at. Maybe I'll go, maybe I'll do a low, real low head speed. And then, I don't know if it'll do 1900. Let's see what it does, uh, 2100's too much. So we'll do 2000, I'll tell you what, I'll go back to 1850. And we'll see where we're at there. I can always change this. I can go in and fine tune this a little later. So I have my idle one is gonna be set at 1600. And that's gonna be a nice low you know, just kind of mess around orientation, do stuff head speed. 1850 will be a little bit stronger. That's probably where I'll fly most of the time. 2000, that bumps it up just a little extra. So then we're going to come up here to where it says brake. We don't need to worry about anything there. Cutoffs. Cutoff, you want auto lipo. Your cutoff type soft cut off is what you're always going to want because you don't want a hard cut off you want it to be a soft it'll just make it a little bit smoother if you do hit those cutoffs current limiting if you look i always go to insensitive for current limiting um because every now and then if my kid's flying this thing he does some stupid stuff with it and i just didn't want it to to kick off uh, and this ESC has handled it. Um, and I have the cutoff type as a soft cutoff for, for both voltage and current. Auto lipo is at 3.2 volts a cell. That's on the low side. Sometimes I change this and I'll bump it up to 3.3 or 3.4. But on this heli, because I know it'll get flown harder, I'm just going to leave it at 3.2. Motor, we're going to leave it medium start power. Motor timing, direction. This is all stock stuff stock settings <coughs> and then outrunner mode you can pick or you can do depending on what kilohertz i always ran on outrunner mode it always seemed to work better for me that way with the castle stuff i had less issues um didn't have the heating issues that i would normally do and i had very good performance so again there we are uh, under the other Power beep, you can change this, your beep on or off if you want it. I always let it on, um, the live link, uh, all that sort of stuff I leave stock. Logging just depends on how much you want to log. Like right now, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna hit clear my log data because I'm moving over to a whole other heli. So we're gonna just erase the log data. But uh, this will keep track if you ever have any issues. Uh, your battery voltage, ripple current, all that kind of good stuff. And it's going to track all that stuff. Um, if you ever have any issues, you can come back, download this, and be able to figure out maybe what's going on. So that's about it. Software just lets us know if we're up to date, which we are, because this is a little bit older ESC. So once we're good, we're going to come down here, and we're just going to hit update. Once we update, update of the settings are complete. We hit OK, and that's it. Castle set up. It's that easy and that simple. Um, at this point, um, we will. I'll disconnect everything. Um, we'll get the fly bar list set up, and then we'll come back. And when we power everything up, you can kind of see the, the multiple modes that'll go through, and uh, we'll go from there. But usually, in my electronics, I always like to get my. If I had the castle, I do my ESC setup, get that all done, then I'll move on to my fly barless and go from there. If I have uh, done some other, depending on the heli or the electronics, it might do it a little different. But for this, for the castle, that's it. I am running, by the way, on here. It's hard to see. Maybe down in here, you can kind of see it tucked underneath here. Um, I am using a castle BEC. Um, what that's allowing me to do is not run a separate like two cell receiver battery. So you kind of see here where I'm tagged off of my leads here and it runs down and then that feeds uh, my fly barless system with a dual power input. So I don't have any shortage of power going there. So I have two actual power um, supply, power ports being fed to my fly barless system that way. 
to keep everything having proper power and I don't have to worry about the extra battery somewhere. This heli, it just works nice. I tuck it down in there pretty nice and, and out of the way. So that's pretty much it for the castle programming. Uh, once I get it all functioning, we'll come back and I'll show you with the three setups, how it goes, how it works. Um, one of the things I just realized I did forget to do. So when we come back here, you'll see here, it's going to tell us for our programming under heads, under the uh, throttle curve, we should use a 30% flat curve, 70% curve for my different setups here. So, and then this one will just set at 100. Uh, it says it has minimal governor overhead, but we're gonna set that at 100. So let me get my radio and I'll show you that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so part I almost forgot about is on the radio here, what we're gonna do is with that whole setting up the head speed, what we gotta do is you go in here, you're gonna go down to throttle curve on the radio and under normal mode, which is gonna be my one, one is gonna be my idle two and two is gonna be my three because I fly with the threes instead of a normal regular curve. So that number one and normal mode, and then we're gonna go over here and you change every value to 30%. So when we're done, we are gonna have a curve, which won't be a curve, it'll be a completely flat line. So we go in here, change each and every one of these, drop this down. And now you'll see under the end, which is my one, I have a flat curve. So now I'm gonna go under my number one and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bump this all the way up to 70. By doing this, that way when I hit my idle up switch, it tells the ESC and it knows what head speed that I'm trying to target. So I drop these, this down to 70, and then my last one, I'm gonna bring everything up to 100. And we'll bring that all the way up. <clears throat> I hope some of this helps out. Castle stuff is really very simple to set up. A lot of people get a little bit upset or confused with how to hook it up, but it's really, it's not easy it's, or not hard. It's just plugging in the numbers. So now we're at 100, we're all the way across the top. And then the hold, you're gonna see, we want that all at zeros. Cause when we hit hold, that's gonna give us our, you know, to do auto rotations and whatnot. So that's it. So uh, now that I have this set, we're going to be ready to go and I'll come back and I'll show you how that those head speeds work and correlate right. so as with we everything when it's functioning. Before, so we got the ESC set up now that that's set up I got the fly bar list set up I can actually show you what the ESC does so um, I'm at mid stick right now throttle hold is on that's telling me it's zero so we're good to go that's always my my fail safe if anything ever goes wrong so um, all the way back, which is gonna be my normal, then one, two, but technically I do it as one, two, three. That's how I've always done it, because it gives me three idle ups. So my normal mode, I leave sit there. When I kick out a hold, I'm gonna kick right up. Now, if I go to idle one, that'll be my 1850. Idle two, that's my 2000. Hold, and we're good to go. That's it. That's how everything all works. Everything's all functioning right, left, everything the way it's supposed to be. Alrighty.